بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبي محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد So we continue Alhamdulillah We have reached the eighth chapter سورة الأنفال This chapter has 75 verses and the meaning of its name Anfal is the plural of Nafal and what we're told in this case of an nafil that it means al ghanima it's talking about the spoils of war meaning the uh, the valuable things that are collected that are won as a result of war wal murad bil anfal al ghanaim allati akhadha al muslimun fi ghazwat badr so specifically uh, that the context for this war booty or spoils is referring to the Battle of Badr, specifically with regards to the Battle of Badr. Well, why is it named Al Anfal? We're told Surah Nuzul Surah fi Ghazwati Badrin wa Dhikru Taqsim al Ghanaimi fiha. Because this chapter actually um, is all about Surah Al Badr, uh, Ghazwati Badr, pardon me, the Battle of Badr. Badr, by the way, is the name of that area where the battle took place. And it's also talking about how these war spoils are supposed to be handled and how they're supposed to be divided and the likes. What other names does this surah have besides Al-Anfal? We're told that it is also known as Surah to Badrin. So it is also known as the chapter of Badr based on the war, the battle itself, as well as Surah to Jihad, the chapter of Jihad, the chapter of, in this case, what we're talking about of uh, religious warfare in that sense. Maqsaduha or Maqsiduha al-Aam, its general objective. Bayanu ahkam al-jihadi fi sabili lah wa asbabi nusrati wa tamkeen. So Allah Ta'ala in this chapter focuses on a lot of the legal rulings that deal with warfare as well as what are considered to be essentials if, you know, for, for victory, for success, as well as for being able to maintain a sense of superiority, a sense of authority meaning to maintain your power. Um, the reason for it being revealed, we're told that it is a Medinan surah. And Sa'd ibn Abi Waqasin radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he says, Qala nazalat fiya arba'u ayat. He mentions about himself, saying that Allah ta'ala revealed four ayat about him or because of him. وَذَكَرَ أَنَّهُ أَصَابَ سَيْفًا غَنِيمَةً مِنْ غَزْوَةِ بَدْرٍ So this is one of them. He says that during that battle, he had, he won a sword. He was able to, to get a sword as the war, you know, booty is concerned. فَطَلَبَهُ مِنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم. And so he asked the Messenger والسلام, that he could have it because according to the way that war used to be, that whoever you defeated, whatever they had, you basically took it. So he's thinking about the sword and saying it's mine. But he's asking the Messenger وَكَرَّرَ طَلَبَهُ ثَلَاثًا And he repeated asking the Messenger والسلام, three times about having the sword, saying, let me have it, can I please have it, for example. وَرَسُولُ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمَ يَقُولُ لَهُ ضَعْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ أَخَذْتَ but each time the Messenger Ali's response to him was, leave it where you found it. Put it wherever you got it from. Don't take it, basically. فَنَزَلَتِ الْآيَةِ يَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْأَنْفَالِ قُلِ الْأَنْفَالُ لِلَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِ And then Allah Ta'ala revealed the chapter, in this case, what we have of Surah Al-Anfal. Uh, Allah Ta'ala says, they ask you about Al-Anfal, the war spoils, say that the spoils are for Allah and for His Messenger. And that hadith is in Muslim. So in this case, we know that SubhanAllah, this chapter as a whole has been revealed because of Badr. And this is one of the uh, main factors with regards to what Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu is telling us. Well, what about its virtues? We're told that he min al فَقَالَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ مَنْ أَخَذَ سَبْعَ الْأَوَلِ الْأُوَلْ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ فَهُوَ حَبْرٌ Right, that whoever is going to take from the seven, then he is a scholar. But to be honest with you, I don't know why this is being placed in here, because I thought that this is basically your, uh, your eighth chapter. 
but maybe it is the seventh and my counting is wrong. So anyway, it's one of those nights, I guess. With regards to its munasabat, the beginning of the chapter with the end of the chapter. The beginning of the chapter with the end of the chapter. What is the relationship? al hadithu an sifatil mu'minin. Allahu Rabbul Alameen addresses the traits of the believers. He begins the chapter by saying, أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقَّا Those are the true believers. After having mentioned character traits about them, he says, those are the true believers. وَقَالَ فِي خَاتِمَتِهَا And he concludes the chapter saying, أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ حَقَّا SubhanAllah, the exact same statement. In the beginning, in the end. Those, they are the true believers. Can you ask for anything of a, of a greater, you know, carbon copy in that sense, being exactly the same? That's, that's there. It's it. Well, what about the relationship between Al-Anfal, Al-Wal-A'raf, the eighth chapter and the seventh? Well, here's what we're told. Um qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi akhiri al-A'raf, وَإِذَا قُرِئَ الْقُرْآنُ فَاسْتَمِعُوا لَهُ وَأَنصِتُوا لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ When Allah Ta'ala concluded Surah Al-A'raf saying, and when the Qur'an is recited, then listen and be quiet and pay attention so that you will receive mercy. بَيَّنَ لَهُمْ أَثَرَ هَذَا الْإِسْتِمَاعِ فِي أَوْلِ أَنْفَالِ Allah Rabbul Alameen explains to them, He clarifies to them in the beginning of this chapter the effects of the believer who listens and pays attention being quiet to the Qur'an. Allah Ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا Indeed, the believers are those that when Allah has mentioned, their hearts tremble. And when His verses, the Qur'an, are recited to them, it increases them in faith. SubhanAllah. Allah Ta'ala concluded Al-A'raf with regards to pay attention to the Qur'an when it's being recited. He begins this chapter telling us how the Qur'an and the remembrance of Allah Ta'ala, how it touches the believers. It causes their hearts to tremble and it strengthens their faith. I ask Allah Ta'ala to truly bless us to be from the true believers such that when we remember Him and when the Qur'an is being recited or we are listening to it, that Allah Ta'ala increases our faith, that He strengthens for us our love and our devotion. Allahumma ameen.